Hi, my name is Khizr Imran. I'm the founder of Jan Pakistan. We are a clean tech startup based out of Lahore, the provincial capital of Pakistan's largest province, Punjab. I'm going to start Jan Pakistan's story from its pilot project site in an off-grid village called Bedia, 20 kilometers southeast of Lahore. Meet Razia Bibi. She lives in Bedia. As you can see, Razia is cooking over an open fire. She is inhaling solid fuel fumes, and unfortunately, she is unaware of its many dangers. And Razia is not the only person suffering from the ill effects of solid fuel fumes. Three billion people cook over open fires across the globe. According to the World Health Organization, 4.3 million people, mostly women and children, die as a result of fatal respiratory illnesses stemming from the inhalation of solid fuel fumes. Burning solid fuel fumes is not just a global health issue. There are other facets to the problem. For instance, purchasing fuel and gathering it is a massive burden on low-income households. In Pakistan, a single household in an off-grid community can spend up to 45% of their income on acquiring solid fuels. And those who aren't buying these fuels spend up to 12 hours a week gathering such fuels. Cooking over open fires has terrifying consequences and millions quietly die in their homes because they're unaware of these consequences. The good news is that smartly designed cook stoves can nearly eliminate fumes and help save up to 50% on fuel costs. In July 2015, we started researching and importing the best-selling clean cook stoves from across the globe. We can divide our product exploration journey in three broad cat st stages. The first stage was about the ideal solution. We were exploring the world of zero emissions and as a result tested a parabolic cook stove, which is the reflective dish on the right, and an evacuated tube stove, a glass cylinder that traps heat and acts like a baking oven. The obvious positives to using solar cook stoves included the elimination of fuel cost and carbon emissions. Also, the parabolic stove worked well with pressure cookers, reducing supervision time. And the evacuated tube stove introduced the potential to cook a whole new range of foods in a variety of different ways, previously unfamiliar to rural communities across Pakistan. Like brownies, for instance. For people across Bedia, the challenges of solar cooking outweighed the benefits. For example, what does one do at night or during inclement weather? The solar cook stoves didn't have a storage component and that was hugely problematic. Also, when the sun is shining, people have to stand and cook in the sun with their sunglasses on and they're not used to doing that. Lastly, and perhaps most importantly, neither of the two solar cook stoves are designed to cook rotis, a thin flatbread 200 million people across Pakistan eat with their food every day. Our experience with solar cook stoves brought us to the second stage of our exploratory journey. We started researching, importing, and testing efficient solid fuel stoves. All the imported technologies we tested reduced fumes, generated more heat, cooked meals faster, and helped save firewood. But users also wished the stoves were slightly larger, with wider stove tops and larger combustion chambers. Concentrated heat on a narrow spot under the spot meant trouble making roti again. The biggest problem with imported technologies, however, was the prohibitively high cost of importing. The Econofire was by far the most affordable stove at $13.5, but by the time it reached us in Lahore, it cost us a little over $40. With 50% margins, we would be selling the product at $60, a price hardly any low-income household would be willing to spend on a clean cook stove. After importing and testing seven different globally established technologies and gathering culinary data from 400 households across off-grid Lahore, we have arrived at a prototype that has real demand. Because our flagship product is entirely fabricated in Pakistan, unlike imported cook stoves, it is extremely affordable. The cost of developing the stove is $9 and we aim to sell it to retailers at $12, who are advised to sell it for $15 to the end customer. Our indigenous stove can boast all the benefits of any imported solid fuel stove. And unlike imported stoves, it's affordable. We haven't been able to lab test carbon emission reduction and other necessary combustion efficiency metrics because the winning prototype is very new. Also, the materials used in the stove are deliberately low cost and the product is therefore not expected to last beyond four months, which is more than enough time for consumers to experience and pay 
for the benefit of clean cooking and gradually move on to a superior product from Jan Pakistan. Arriving at the right product, however, is only one of many facets of the complete solution. Making the product affordable through microfinance options, identifying agents of change within communities to champion the new technology, developing communications to influence culinary behaviors, and lobbying with the government to help assist the introduction of clean cook stoves on a mass scale, each of these functions are equally important to the ultimate solution. We have established the cost of the product itself, and through 2017, we will gain a deeper understanding of the cost of selling our indigenous goods. This includes A, identifying and training agents of change, B, developing and implementing a behavior change communication plan, C, negotiating sales tax with the government of Pakistan to win subsidies to further amplify affordability, and D, understanding the product life cycle and using that knowledge to inform the current financial model. 55% of Pakistan currently resides in off-grid areas. That's over 100 million people living in roughly 13.8 million households. Hence, the market for our solution in Pakistan alone is massive. And our approach towards introducing the solution is pretty simple. Our marketing effort starts with free household trials. When people experience the benefit of clean cooking, they become owners and in best case scenarios, champions of the technology. The champions are then trained and funded to host live demo events and essentially become our very own agents of change. Jan Pakistan supports women entrepreneurs in particular to assume this role because women understand cooking best and have easy access to other women in villages. Ultimately, clean cook stove champions benefit from commission-based sales and Jan Pakistan helps them expand operations to adjoining villages. In the immediate future, we are focusing on solidifying our business model. We want to conduct pilot projects in four distinct geographies across Pakistan to help develop a single versatile product that appeals to customers across a wide spectrum of off-grid villages and culinary behaviors. At the end of our third year of operations, we envision breaking even. At this point, we want to secure impact investment to develop a sophisticated, centralized cook stove production unit that can help us meet the consumer demand we cultivate in the first three years of operations. For us, 2017 is all about replicating the pilot project across Punjab, only using the funds our very own business generates. In parallel, we also want to expand the scope of our pilot project to new territories beyond Punjab. And lastly, we want to collaborate with a research and development team, either at the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory or at the world's leading cookstove manufacturer, Envirofit. We want to forge this partnership to help us constantly improve upon Jan Pakistan's indigenous cookstove design. We have come this far through $20,000 of seed capital. We won this amount at a social business competition in Dublin in October 2014, where Professor Mohammed Yunus met us and shared his vision on social business. Moving forward, we have forged key strategic partnerships with a number of organizations. These organizations have already helped us gather the necessary funds, skills, and expertise to explore off-grid markets across Pakistan. We have worked hard to bring together a very relevant team behind Jan Pakistan with specific expertise in behavior change communications, microfinance, fundraising, and product development. The introduction of clean cook stoves across off-grid Pakistan can save over 100,000 lives each year. It is a daunting task, and Jan Pakistan is moving forward in leaps and bounds to achieve it. With your help, we can surely get there sooner. Thank you for your time.